I'm on the road. It's not super early morning. We hit the road about 5.30. I say we, but it's just me. Solo trip on, well, it's not top secret. A few people know about it, but um, very excited about what I'm going all the way to Texas for. 2,400 miles round trip. So it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a haul. First state is finished. Heading into Colorado here in a few minutes. Drive's going good so far. Looking forward to making it all the way into Texas tonight. Well, that was a long trip. Finally made it to Lubbock. It's like eight o'clock, 8.30. Uh, it was like 14 hours of driving, um, but it went smooth. It's just a long ways. What's really fun is I still have six more hours to go tomorrow before you even get to the destination. And then I'll drive back here tomorrow night. So it's gonna be another long day, but at least I'll be coming back with a pretty cool prize. Well, it's another day on the road, traveling through North Texas to, I don't know, I don't know what you would call Central Texas. If you're from Texas, the uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin area. Is that North, Central? I'm not sure. Another great day. Still got another four hours before I finally get to my destination, but I'm excited. Uh, road trip's going fine. It's a long ways, but we're going to get there. We're going to get it picked up. Uh, can't wait for you to see it. Well, I'm here finally in sunny Texas. This is what we were down here picking up. 2015 Euro Gear Up. Seen a lot of use. Saw it come online from a guy uh, on one of the forums that I follow that uh, ride these, but this is a two-wheel drive sidecar motorcycle. Uh, finally back in uh, Lubbock, getting ready for the big drive home tomorrow. Probably at least 10 hours on the road. This trailer from uh, Tractor Supply, not a sponsor. Um, perfectly sized for this. I didn't want anything bigger so I could pull it behind the Ranger better. And you can see it just fits on there perfect. No problems. What's really cool is these rails actually uh, move down. They unlock here and then each rail can slide over and the rails on the side can slide down or forward. And so it gives you basically a flat bed. And then if you want to come up to give yourself a little more room like this. It's day four of this trip. Thankfully not that far, I'm just a couple hours finally away from getting home. Uh, no issues driving, trailer's pulling good, excited to get the Ural home, uh, get it unloaded, get it cleaned up, and not be driving anymore. <laughs> Fun story is that we actually owned a 2011 version of this. It was carbureted. It was just a lot of fun for both uh, me and Katie. We weren't really looking to get another one. We knew we wanted to at some point, but we decided we would probably wait till next year. This one came up on a forum I'm a part of. Um, it was a great deal. Um, the guy had been a longtime member, so he posted a lot about any issues he'd had. And, that just made it easy to pull the trigger on this one. We didn't dislike our old one, we loved it. We had it all set up the way we wanted. Um, and I was restoring an 85 Bronco. Spent three years restoring it, frame on restoration, but most of the body panels have been replaced. I was getting it ready for paint. And we decided, you know, I'd rather have that painted um, and drive it all year round instead of just the Euro, which I pretty much only dried during the summer or during nice weather. So we sold that, and then a month before I was going to paint the Bronco, somebody pulled out in front of me. I was doing 55 and T-boned that car and it totaled my Bronco. So I didn't get to use it for paint. <laughs> that was kind of a bummer. We just decided we were waiting. We loved having one. We were thinking about getting one of the newer ones, with the second generation fuel injection. I'm still happy that this one's fuel injected because I hated having to change jets which I would have to anytime I went up above 7,000 feet. Um, so I'm not gonna have to do that anymore. So that's the story. Hey there, I uh, never went over kind of a follow-up. It's been about a week or so since I got back from my big trip down to Texas. Um, and so I just thought I'd go over now that the weather's actually nice enough to be outside, go over the bike a little bit more in detail. Like I said, this is a 2015 
It's got the first generation fuel injection on it. Um, engine's pretty clean, not really a lot of, of oil leaking. So this the normal that you would see around some of the head gaskets, valve cover gaskets is, is what I'm seeing. Our plan is to probably really get these parts, the painted parts, um, down to where I can actually get a polisher on them, polish them and wax them. You see there's quite a bit of a cleanup I need to do. There's a lot of little rust spots which isn't uncommon for these bikes. The two wheel drive shaft is missing. That normally goes across to the sidecar. Previous owner had taken it off so I'll be getting that put back on because I do use two wheel drive quite a bit. My tire is definitely worn down to uncomfortable. So I've already got a new one. Uh, one of the off-road ones sitting in the garage ready to put on there. It's a couple spots. Uh, I'll just be addressing each of these parts, you know, over the next year as needed, probably repainting a lot of the, the frame components. Um, I've already taken off that front jerry can holder that was there because we like that look a little bit cleaner. And then there was one on the back side here as well that we removed. Um, so I'll get those holes plugged up after I get it polished and and everything. My last one we had, we lined the inside of the sidecar with bed liner and that worked really well. I'm gonna probably create a custom dash. I've also taken off the uh, tractor saddle, is what they call it, that's on the bike. And so we replaced that with the uh, bench seat style. It just allows a lot of moving. Uh, you can move forward where you need to have it in the turns to have weight on the front tire and then you know just cruising you can slide back at least for me with the short as my legs are it allows me to sit just at the right angle i'm going to be looking at putting on a different speedometer that's maybe gps capable maybe some new indicator lights maybe even rework that whole dash area i haven't quite decided yet but i've got a couple things in mind so i'll be sure to be posting those if you want to see more of that work uh, that we're doing on the bike, then make sure that you uh, like this video. Go ahead and subscribe because that says, hey, I want to see more, more of that. But we'll take you along on some of the things. I've got some experimental stuff that we're going to do. Thanks again for watching. And remember to like this video if you want to see more of this content.